Hi, this is Katrina Sargent, Devil Doll Custom Creations. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Hydro Dipping Ink Joy Pens Non Glittered. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you haven't already watched my basic pen tutorials for epoxy or crystallac, please go through and watch that. Here I have already prepped and painted this pen. Since these are non-glittered, you need to add a layer of epoxy so you don't see any ridges or indents and whatnot from the pen itself. Here I add a little bit of a Lumalite white dye into my epoxy. Make sure it is fully stirred. You don't have any clumps of the dye itself before you add it to your pen. And then I just add a little bit on my finger and lay it on the pen. You can do it on the turner for the first one, but after that, it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's easier to do it off the turner and then apply your pencil to this. I actually found this idea for these pencil grips on a PVC from a tutorial group. I cannot remember who originally posted, I am sorry. I actually like the flower inserts with a rubber band a little bit more, but to each your own, find which way you prefer to have these pens turn and stick with it. You're just gonna wanna make sure your entire pen is covered before you move on. Once you have them completely coated and everything is good and you have them turning, you're gonna add heat gun to this just to get the epoxy moving a little bit. And then you're gonna add a torch to pop any micro bubbles. Each epoxy is different. I use CC DIY artist resin and it can handle more heat than some other epoxy. Be very careful with your heat gun and torch. You can warp your pins. Let these turn for six hours for normal epoxy or two hours for fast set, and then let them dry for 12 hours before going to this next step. I have a pencil on the bottom and I have taken an eraser to plug up the top hole. So when you hydro dip, you're not gonna have all the paints go inside the pen. So I am using a fast food large soda cup as my dunk bucket. A little piece of cardboard is an awesome way to get anything off the water surface. You can also use a styrofoam cup like I do for my normal hydro dipping. When you're adding your paints, if you see anything weird or globby, use your skewer and get that out. You will see that in your dip, so it's better to get it out first. You use very little paint. I use about a drop to two drops of each color at a time go slowly because you can go too much paint on these. They take very little. And then you're gonna take a kebab skewer or something to make a design on the water surface. Don't go too small of details. These pens, they're very small. Unlike a tumbler, you're barely gonna have any paint on your pen. So when you submerge it, twist as you submerge, just like you would do a tumbler, you have to use your finger on the water surface to get it off the surface before you remove the pen. Unlike a tumbler, you can just shake it. So here I'm going to be doing a blue, orange, and white pen. I'm going to be making the details a lot smaller. You're going to see when I remove it, um, the difference. It probably would be smart to wear a glove. You can see my hands are filthy because I dipped a bunch of things today. So don't be like me and wear a glove. If 
If you're confused at all or I went too fast, please go back and watch my hydro dipping tumbler video I made. I dip three tumblers and I explain every step of my process as I'm doing it. I then set these off to the side to dry fully overnight. I then go add a layer of CC DIY quick coat, let that dry, and then epoxy like normal until they are smooth. Here is that first dip we did. And then the middle one is the third dip I did. I hope everyone liked this tutorial, learned something new. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments. I will write back. Please like, share, subscribe. It truly means the world to me. I also have a Facebook group, facebook.com, Devil Doll Community. You can ask me questions there. You can show off your work. You can find other crafters that enjoy what you enjoy. Thank you.